Mercury SMS, two-way SMS messaging within the Salesforce.com platform. With the Mercury SMS application available on the App Exchange, you can create an SMS template effortlessly within just a few clicks. Within the Mercury SMS application, simply click on the SMS Templates tab and click New. Give your template a name and begin to compose the body of your SMS template in the message field. This could be anything from a welcome or thank you message to an event reminder or promotional offer. Add that personal touch to your messages by including merge fields. In this example you can see we are choosing the first name field from the lead object. Once we've selected the field, simply click insert text to include the data within the template. There is a character limit of 280 characters for each SMS. The character counter located below the body of your SMS helps you track the amount of characters remaining. In this example, we are going to include another merge field to sign off the SMS message with the name of the user sending the message. Again, we simply select the relevant field and click insert text to include it within the template. Once you are done, click save and hey presto, that's your first SMS template completed using Mercury SMS. Now the template has been created, let's show you how easy it is to send to an individual lead or contact record within salesforce.com. On any lead or contact record within salesforce.com, simply click the send SMS button. This will open a page where you can type your SMS message to send to that lead or contact or choose an existing SMS template like the one we created earlier. There are buttons on this page that allow you to send the message now or schedule a specific date and time in the future to send the message. There are also fields similar to those we saw earlier that allow us to merge in details from the lead or contact record such as their name or company name. To select an existing template, simply click the Select Template button and choose the SMS template from the relevant folder. You can now see the body of your SMS message and can choose to send the message instantly by clicking the Send Now button. An activity will be created automatically against the lead or contact record and this will include details of the message that has been sent. Here's a copy of the text message received. As well as sending to individual records, Mercury SMS includes a fantastic feature that allows users to send bulk SMS messages to a campaign list. Again, this can be achieved in just a few easy steps. On your campaign record, just click the Send Bulk SMS button. A page will open similar to the one we saw earlier in this demo that allows the user to type their own SMS message from scratch. You can update the member status for each recipient here on the right hand side. Once again, we also have the option to include merge fields if we want. I'm going to go ahead and select an already existing template. Once again, we can choose the template we want from the correct folder. This time around I'm going to schedule a date and time to send the message. Simply put the cursor in the date and time field within the send later section at the bottom of the page. Select the date and time you wish to send the message and hit the send later button. Here's a copy of the text message received. Another great feature of Mercury SMS is the ability to send your text message as an automated action via a workflow rule within the salesforce.com platform. Create your workflow rule as you would normally by clicking the new rule button. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to create a simple workflow rule on the contact object. Once I've given my workflow rule a name, I'm going to set my workflow criteria. In this example, the workflow rule will be triggered each time a contact record is created and a mobile number is included. Once I've defined the criteria of the workflow, 
I'm then going to define an immediate workflow action. This is going to be a field update. I give my field update action a name and select to perform a field update on the SMS code field. We will then check the box to use a formula to set the new rule value. The value of this field will be the SMS code from the SMS template record you wish to send. As you can see in the demo, I can navigate to the SMS template I wish to send and copy and paste the SMS code from that record into the field update for my workflow rule. Finally, I just need to save and then activate the workflow rule that I just created. Now let's go ahead and create a brand new contact record. I will include a mobile number so it meets the criteria of my workflow rule. As soon as we save the contact record, the workflow rule is triggered. Therefore, the field update is performed and the text message is issued. The next great feature of Mercury SMS that we will take a look at is inbound text messaging. The recipient of your individual or bulk text messages can easily reply to a message. The reply will be stored as an activity against the associated record within salesforce.com. The activity will store the body of the text message that was received. As well as sending generic messages as replies to your text messages, your contacts and leads can also opt out of receiving further SMS communications from you. They simply need to reply with the word stop. This will automatically update a field on the associated lead or contact record that records the fact that the individual has opted out of receiving further messages from your company. Why not get started with Mercury SMS today? Activate your free 14-day trial available from the salesforce.com app exchange. For further information about Mercury SMS or any of the other fantastic Aprika products, visit www.aprika.com.au.